Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, in a race of 1000 meter, Arun can beat Bimal by 100 meter. In a race of 400 meter, Bimal beats Cyril by 40 meter. Find out by how many meters Arun will beat Cyril in a race of 500 meter. So what is the given question? So there is a race and Arun is beating Bimal by 100 meter. So Arun is winning and uh, by how many meters Arun is winning? Arun is winning by 100 meter. So Arun can beat Bimal by 100 meter means the meaning is Arun is winning the race by 100 meter. So what is the meaning of that? When Arun finishes the race, the Bimal will be running how much? So the race is of 1000 meter. So when Arun crosses 1000 meter, Bimal will be crossing 900 meter. So that is the meaning. When Arun has run 1000 meter, Bimal has run only 900 meter. So, Arun is beating Bimal by 100 meter. So, that is the meaning of that. So, Arun is running 1000 meter and at that time Bimal is running only 900 meter. Now, again second case what is happening? Bimal and Cyril. So, Bimal is running 400 meter. It is a race of 400 meter and Bimal is winning the race or Bimal is beating Cyril. So, Bimal is running 400 meter and what about Cyril? Cyril will be running only 360 meter. Bimal is beating Cyril by 40 meter. That means when Bimal is running 400 meter, Cyril will be running only 360 meter. You have to find out by how many meters Arun will be beating the Cyril in a race of 500 meters. So 500 meters Arun is winning and how many by how many meters Arun is winning or by how many meters Arun will be beating Cyril. So, this is what we have to find out. So, first we have to find out a relation between Arun and Cyril. So, we are having a relation between Arun and Bimal. So, we can write it as a fraction. Arun is to Bimal is 1000 is to 900. When Arun is running 1000 meter, Bimal is running only 900 meter. Same way Bimal is to Cyril also we can write. Bimal is running 400 meter and Cyril will be running only 360 meter. Now, we have to find out a relationship between Arun and Cyril. So, if this is 1 and, and this is 2 means 1 into 2 will be giving us the relationship between Arun and Cyril. Isn't it? So, let us try to do. So, Arun is to Bimal into Bimal by Cyril. So, we will be getting Arun by Cyril ultimately. So, 1 into 2 will be giving us the relationship between Arun and Cyril. Relationship means the relationship between the distance run by Arun and Cyril. So, it will be equal to 1000 divided by 900 into 400 divided by 360. We are multiplying the left hand sides and we are multiplying the right hand sides. So, what we will be getting? We will be getting the relationship between Arun and Cyril. So, Arun is to Cyril will be equal to. So, what we will be getting here? If we are uh, just uh, cancelling out. So, 36 and 40 which gives us 9 and 10. So, finally, we will be getting uh, 10 into 10 which gives us 100. 100 is to 9 into 9 is equal to 81. So, when Arun is running 100 meters, Cyril will be running only 81 meters. So, that is the meaning 100 is to 81. When Arun is running 100 meters, Cyril will be running only 81 meters. But our question is to find out. In a 500 meter race, what will happen? So, we have to convert this into 500 meter. So, when we are multiplying 100 into 5, we will be getting 500. So, 81 into 5 also same way we have to do. So, it will be 405. So, what is the meaning of that? When Arun has run 500 meter, Cyril will be running only 405 meter. So, the Arun will be beating Cyril or Arun beats Cyril by how many runs? 500 minus 405. So, Arun will be beating Cyril by 500 minus 405 runs. That means by 90 uh, runs now sorry meter. 500 minus 405 meter which gives us 95 meter. So, Arun will be beating Cyril by 95 meter in a race of 500 meter. Now, question number 2. In a 1 kilometer race, Mohan, Rohan and Pooja are the 3 participants. Mohan can give Rohan a start of 50 meter and Pooja a start of 69 meter. Find the start which Rohan can allow Pooja. So, here the sentence is a little different. Here it is given giving a start. 
so what is the meaning of giving a start so before that what is the question we are having three participants mohan rohan and pooja are the three participants in a 1 km race or 1000 m race first mohan and rohan so mohan and rohan what is happening mohan can give rohan a start of 50 m the meaning is mohan will be starting at the starting point mohan will be starting the race at the starting point but rohan will be starting 50 m ahead 50 m ahead of mohan only rohan will be starting and yet who will be winning mohan will be winning so that is the meaning of that mohan can give rohan a start of 50 m means even though rohan is starting 50 m ahead of mohan who will be winning ultimately mohan only will be winning so mohan is to rohan if you are telling means mohan has to run how many meters mohan has to run the entire race 1000 m mohan will be running the entire race but rohan is starting 50 m ahead so this rohan has to run only 950 m so in a 1000 m race if mohan is running the entire 1000 m rohan is running only 950 m so that is the relationship between the distances run by mohan and rohan now next case what is happening and pooja is start of 69 m so mohan is to pooja if you are telling means when mohan is running 1000 m pooja has to start only 1000 minus 69 runs 1000 minus 69 is 931 so only 931 m pooja has to run so this is the way we are writing the relationship we are writing as a ratio so mohan is to rohan will be 1000 is to 950 when mohan is doing the entire race of 1000 m rohan will be running only 950 m because he is already standing 50 m ahead of mohan he mohan can give rohan a start of 50 m so rohan will be starting 50 m ahead of mohan or he has to run only 50 m less his entire race distance will be only 50 m less of 1000 m so it will be 950 m so mohan is to rohan will be equal to 1000 is to 950 and mohan is to pooja will be equal to 1000 is to 931 mohan can give pooja a start of 69 m so pooja has to run a total distance of 1000 minus 69 so pooja has to run only 931 m now you have to find out what about rohan and pooja so rohan and pooja what is the relation when rohan runs 1000 m how much pooja is running or what is the start that rohan can allow pooja so from these two you have to find out a ratio between rohan and pooja so how you can do 2 divided by 1 will be giving you the relationship between rohan and pooja so isn't it m divided by p divided by m by r it will be equal to r is to p so m divided by 1000 divided by 931 into 950 divided by 1000 we are dividing dividing 1000 by 950 you have to write the formula uh, you have to write the inverse so it will be equal to 1000 by 931 into 950 by 1000 or rohan is to pooja will be equal to 950 is to 931 so when rohan runs 950 meter pooja has to run only 931 meter but you have to find out in the case of a 1000 meter race so 1000 meter so in 1000 meter what is happening that is what you have to find out so 1000 meter what should happen So 950 divided by 1000 is equal to 931 divided by x, which gives us x is equal to 931 into 1000 divided by 950. So ultimately, you will be getting here 980 meter. So what is the meaning? When Rohan has to run the entire 1000 meter, Pooja has to run only 980 meter. That means Rohan can allow Pooja a start of 20 meter 1000 minus 20 so rohan can allow pooja a start of 20 meter you have to convert the final ratio into our race distance our race is of 1000 meter here we got a relationship between rohan and pooja 950 meter 931 meter when rohan is running 950 meter pooja has to run only 931 meter but our race is a 1 km race so you have to convert rohan's uh, race to 
1000 meter. So it will be 1000 this to x. So from that you will be getting x. When Rohan runs the entire 1000 meter, Pooja has to run only 980 meter. That means Rohan can allow Pooja a start of 20 meter. Even then, sorry 20 meter, okay. So 20 meter. So even then who will be winning? Rohan only will be winning. Even though Pooja is starting 20 meter ahead of Rohan and Pooja has to travel only 980 meter, Rohan only will be winning ultimately. So that is here the answer will be 20 meter. Now question number 3. In a game of snooker, Tanu can give Manu 16 points in a game of 80 and Rahul can give sorry and Tanu can give Rahul 15 points in a game of 90. How many points can Rahul give Manu in a game of 50? So first question we saw beating. So Arun is beating Cyril by 50 meter. So what is the meaning of that we saw. Second question we saw what is the meaning of can give a start of. Give a start of means what is the meaning. Here also it is giving points. So everything uh, when we are writing the formula it becomes the same. Okay. So here what is happening. Here Tanu can give Manu 16 points in a game of 80. That means when Tanu is scoring Tanu is to Manu. We are going to find out the ratio Tanu is to Manu. So in the game of 80 when Tanu scores 80 points Manu will be scoring 80 minus 16. 80 minus 16 will be 64. So when Tanu is giving Manu 16 points Manu will be winning or Manu will be getting 80 points. That is the meaning. When Tanu is scoring 80, Manu will be scoring only 80 minus 16, so 60, 64 points. So that is the meaning of giving. Tanu can give Manu 16 points means this is the meaning. When Tanu is scoring the entire 80 points, Manu will be scoring only 16 points less. So now Tanu is to Rahul, what is the ratio? Tanu is to Rahul in a game of 90. So when Tanu is scoring 90, Rahul will be scoring only 90 minus 15 which is equal to 75. So Rahul will be scoring 90 minus 75. So this is the ratio. Tanu is to Manu will be 80 is to 64 and Tanu is to Rahul will be equal to 90 is to 75. You have to find out what, how many points can Rahul give Manu in a game of 50. That is what you have to find out. So from this. 1 and 2 you have to find out a relationship between Rahul and Manu. You have to find out the ratio of Rahul to Manu. So what is the ratio? The ratio will be equal to 2 divided by sorry uh, it will be equal to 1 divided by 2. When you are doing 1 divided by 2 you will be getting Rahul is to Manu. So 1 divided by 2 or Rahul is to Manu will be equal to 80 divided by 64 into 75 divided by 90 you have to take the inverse so it will be 75 divided by 90 so 8 and 9 so here 8 will come here it is 9 then again if you are doing here 25 will come here and here 3 will come so our Rahul is to Manu ratio will be equal to 25 is to 24 that means in a game of 25 Rahul when Rahul is scoring 25 Manu will be scoring only 24 or Rahul will be giving Manu two, 1 point. Rahul can give Manu 1 point in a game of 25. What we have to find out? We have to find out in a game of 50 what will happen. Our question is to find out for a game of 50. So in order to get 50 you have to multiply. So 50 is to 48. That means Rahul can give Manu 2 points in a game, in a game of 50. Rahul can give Manu 2 points in a game of 50. So that is our answer, 2 points. So these are the 3 ways in which questions can be asked. The one thing is, first one is beating. Beating by how many runs? Or we can say winning by, both will be same. Winning by 2 runs or beating by 2 runs. The meaning is when the winner has completed the race, the other person will be only completing 2 runs less. So if it is a 1000 meter race, when the winner is running 1000 meters, the second person will be running only 1000 minus 2 runs. So that is the meaning of winning by 2 runs or beating by 2 runs. The second case having a start, having a start of 50 runs in a race of 1000 meters means when the winner has to run the entire 1000 meter, the other person has to run only 1000 minus 50 meter. 
okay so that is a relation and third one giving giving runs or giving points or giving meters in that way if it is coming means the winner has to score the entire points if it is a game of 50 the winner will be getting the entire 50 points and if, if he is able to give 10 points to the other person the other person will be getting only 40 points in the same game when the winner is getting 50 the other person will be getting 50 minus 10 that is 40 points so these are the three ways of three types of this question or three types of sentence construction in this question when we write the formula or the method of doing everything will be same thank you for watching